Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Uh, we're looking at this book and we're looking at the preacher and the sufficient word. And we're going to look at why is the Bible sufficient in our preaching. Hermann Bavink, a Dutch Reformed theologian, writes, Christ is the fulfillment of all. First of all in his person and appearance, then in his words and works, in his birth and life, in the death and resurrection, in his ascension and sitting at the right hand of God. If then he has appeared and has finished his work, the revelation of God cannot be amplified to be increased. It can only be clarified by the apostolic witness and preached to all nations. Since the revelation is complete, the time is now come in which its content is made properly of mankind and the dispensation continues unto the fullness of the Gentiles is come and Israel is saved. Why is the Bible sufficient? Because it's the culmination of the whole history of redemption. In the Bible we see the fall of Adam, we see God's preparing Israel, we see then through Israel the Messiah comes, we see the Messiah die, rise again, and the Holy Spirit given to the church. We have the whole history of salvation complete in the Bible. So when we're preaching the Bible, we're preaching a sufficient word that is needed for the church at this time. 